Hello everyone. This is my new project. It is a portable pocket signal visualizer. It is a small scale model of digital oscilloscope. It is capable of viewing all type of waveform like sine, triangular, square, etc. How is it? What is your opinion? Do you like it? If you like it, please subscribe my channel. This is my new homemade pocket oscilloscope, which I named as Pocket Signal Visualizer. It made only by using SMD components. Here the full hardware is fitted in a makeup box. You see it? This is the display of the oscilloscope, which is used to display the signals. Here the user display is the 2.8 inch TFT display module with 240 into 320 pixel density. This is the main PCB. This is the front panel control switches. This is used to change the oscilloscope settings. This is the front end PCB. This is used to condition the input signals, input and log signals. You see it? This uh, uh, display is foldable. So this foldable display creates this device easily fit in your pocket. Okay, you see it? This is the lithium-ion cell. This lithium-ion cell power the wall device. Okay. Now we are going to switch on this device. You see the device is switched on. Now it is at fully functional. You see a white line at the center of the display. You see this white line indicates the input signal. But now we do not apply any input signal to the input port. The no signal condition indicates the flat white line. This is the power LED. Okay. Now we are going to apply an analog signal to the input top oscilloscope. For this I use a smartphone. This is a signal generator application which is available in the Play Store. Now I apply a 1 kW signal, a 1 kW sine wave signal. Okay. Now I am going to apply the analog signal. For this I use a stereo cable. Yes, I got it. You see, there is a signal. This is a small portion of the applied sine wave. For the full view, I control the zooming effect. For the zooming effect control, I use this control keys. You see, there are four options. The delay option is used to change the zooming effect. Okay. There is a red option. The red indicates the selected option. For selecting the delay option, I use a bar down keys. You see, now it is now delay is selected. For changing the delay value, I use the left right keys. Now I apply the right key. You see, it changes. Yes, it is a perfect sign wave. You see, it works perfectly. Now I change the sine wave to a triangular wave. Yes, it works very well. You see, now I am going to change it into a square wave. It also works. This is awesome. Now I am going to change the amplitude by controlling the volume in the mobile phone. Yes, it works. The amplitude is also controlled in the oscilloscope. For the controlling, I use the gain option. Okay. You see, the amplitude is changed. Yes. The all functions are work very well. This is awesome. For this oscilloscope, there is no on off switch. It is on and off automatically by detecting the folding of the display. You see, there is a switch. When we cross the for display, the push switch activated and the device going to the off condition. You see the LED is off. It indicates the off condition. When the display is open, it automatically switch on and start working. This functionality creates this device to be a user friendly device. Okay? You got it? If you like it, 
don't forget to subscribe my channel now we going to see the internal structure of the wall device you see this is the main pcb all components used here is the assembly components you see this is the main chip this is an amega 328 microcontroller this is the microcontroller which is same as used in the arduino nano board okay this is the adc chip the main working is that first we take the analog input from an external source by using this headset port then it is given to some potential divider setup this is used to select different input voltage levels then it is going to this multiplexer ic this is used to select the input signal digitally then the selected input signal is going to an op amp for signal conditioning purpose then the conditioner signal is going to this adc chip here i use tlc5510 adc ic it is a high speed adc it converts the analog signal to the corresponding digital signal in a 8 bit resolution the output digital data is stored in this microcontroller chip uh, that is at this amega 328 chip the chip drive this display that is the stored the data is given to the display by using an spi protocol this is a 320 into 240 pixel tft display module the serial communication decreases the usage of output pins in the amega 328p microcontroller the pcb and display is connected by using small enameled copper wires this chip is used to connect the pc to this oscilloscope for firmware updation this amega 328 need serial data this chip connect the usb data to a serial data this is a charge control ic for charging this led ion cell this is a led ion cell which is used in the mobile phones its voltage is 3.7 volt this ic controls the charging current and monitor the cell continuously and indicate the full charging condition this ic is used for the protection of the led ion cell that is like short circuit protection or voltage protection etc this is a small smd ic it is a boost converter ic it is used to convert the 3.7 volt to the 5 volt supply the 5 volt is used in the wall circuit so this boost converter is the essential part of this pcb is the triple phase ic it is used to generate an 80 voltage for this op amp here it is a charge from circuit the capacitors are driven by using this triple phase oscillator circuit this is the micro usb port it is used to update the firmware by connecting to the pc and charge the led ion cell this is the front panel control switches up down left right okay how is it what is your opinion if you like it please like share and subscribe my channel don't forget for subscription okay thank you